Quake 2 is like one of my favorite shooters ever and there's an RTX version of it now so that uh, so the, the shiny new 2080 that I've got now has like a, a like a um, reason to exist let's get the intro because screw that but like this is just stunning to me just the fact that this exists like I can play th uh, this is just wow I gotta be honest though, as much as much as imp as impressive as this is, I don't know if I would, you know, like it as much as say the um, the glide version on the on my Windows 98 computer. This is very cool though, like very cool. I love the way this works, but unfortunately, it makes the fan ramp up pretty high. Also, I set the... I set the... Oh, shit. Ah, Chungus died. <laughs> oh, my God. That was clever. I, um... I haven't played this for a while. Oh, quite obviously. But, yeah, I've, like... I set the I set the light to nighttime so that the lights are more impressive because I don't think they're that impressive. You can't cycle it to daytime by pushing the single button, which I think just that's crazy. You can just literally just change the time of day by pushing the button. I don't know if that's gonna change. Yeah, this is like nighttime now, daytime or early morning or whatever this is supposed to be. I fucking hate this gun. Where do I get the shotgun? This thing is always just like. I don't know, I don't know, I know in ID games they're always just like, make the... Where the hell? The fuck did I go? In ID games they're always just like, yeah, give it... Oh, there you go, full daytime, look at that. Beautiful. I can hear the cards working really hard to play this. <laughs> I haven't got like the airflow stuff that I need in the computer at the moment to do this for very long, so I'm probably gonna do like a couple of levels and then call it a day before the thing fucking melts. It just looks really good. I do like it later though, so let's, let's change it to night time again. Ooh, that is late. Ooh, look at that. It's over it, isn't it? The shotgun's around here somewhere. Um, excuse me. Looking for the shotgun. Haven't seen it yet. Please do that faster. <laughs> Can you seriously not do anything to me in here? Oh, he's figured it out. I just gotta keep cycling between them. Oh, I didn't realize you could change character too, so I've I've got Lady Chungus. <laughs> That's just what I was entertaining. Plus there are reflections. Oh shit. I thought the shotgun was in this level, but I guess it isn't. Unless I've just missed it somehow. Let's go back and get it. Oh man, we're going to flashlight soon. Oops. Wait, is this... What's this? Is this actually a flashlight? This is a flare gun! Oh wow, look! The water glows! That's sick! Wow, this is incredible. Oh, these use... Oh shit, these use actual grenades. <laughs> these use grenades? They're not grenades. Shoot me. I never seem to be able to compensate for, like, the actual... Like, difference. Here it is. Now we're talking. This is my gun of choice. I always like this gun the most in the game. Should have come up... Really? Right, there we go. I should, that's where I should have come up when I was underground in that red area. Someone is still shooting at me somewhere. There he is. Okay, it's a, it's a tad dark now. I can't see where I'm... I can't see anything. Shit. Is this the right way? No, this is where I came. Whatever, we'll just go to the next level, I guess. It's kind of weird hearing, like, a jump sound in this game that isn't like voiced by Trent Reznor which I still think is absolutely insane in case you didn't know like the the jumping animation and all like the pain animation and stuff or like well not animation but like sound effects 
are all done by Trent Reznor, who did the soundtrack for Quake 1, because I think it's taken straight from Quake 1 as well. It's kind of weird seeing, like, daylight out that side. <laughs> and then, like... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, there is the same amount of daylight, I guess. Don't understand how it can be so dark out there with that amount of lighting. Right. Whatever, let's go next level. Man, it just looks really good. I'm just, uh, let's give the case a quick touch. That's pretty hot, yeah. <laughs> really need that airflow. Runs really well, though, which is just super nice. Despite the temperature. The only thing that's missing is the soundtrack, and I don't know why the soundtrack isn't in it. I don't know if you can, like, enable the uh, MP3 files, or OG files, like you can in the Quake 2 XP or whatever I used to use. I've got, like, I've got, like, three different... No, I've got four different versions of Quake 2. I've got, like... Fuck you. I've got, um... Quake 2 on PlayStation 1, which is obviously a vastly different beast, and... They came so close in that, that game to almost making the, um controls really good like in re actually innovative for the PlayStation 1 but they're not quite because they made it so that in, you know like in most first person shooters nowadays you have like the left stick sort of like moves you around like this and then the right stick lets you look well like in that one they've almost got it right but just mixed the two around so one of them is like forwards backwards and then turning and then the other one is like left right look up and down or whatever and it's just so confounding when you're not used to that. Like, that's just not, it's just not right, you know? And I, you, you can't, they've got like the first PlayStation 1 twin stick that I'm aware of, I mean, at least the one that I'm aware of, twin stick setup for a shooter game. And like, they just so close to being the first to get the sweet spot right. But it's just not quite there. So dis it's kind of disappointing, but like other than that, it's way it's really good because they've gone and uh, really out of their way to add in extra levels that you would not have in what would be a considerably worse version of the game when you think about it. But the PlayStation One obviously doesn't have the same kind of power as the computer, so putting in extra levels in something that you know shouldn't be running the game <laughs> at all is just you know that's just a that's a huge flex. That is, oh wow, look at that. I just like that, I just like that. Right. Hiding in that corner, shooting me in the back. Who do you think you are? Then I've got like the uh, OpenGL version, because I've got a computer with the 3D effects. Uh, no, it would be the Glide version, wouldn't it? On, uh, on my 3D effects card. I've got a Voodoo 3. And that's... I mean, I have all of this stuff basically so that I can just record different things and get like the authentic experience of what it would look like and the the glide glide card runs really well with um, Quake 2 it just looks great like I mean I'm not used to the game being like that I'm used to like the software version because that's how I used to play the game and the software version just looks so gritty and nasty. It makes the PlayStation 1 version look like the refined version. But, like, it's just so nasty that it's, like, you know, I, re I, really, I really like it regardless. <laughs> oh my god, her voice. Okay. Then we've got the version on the Windows XP computer, which is basically just the regular version of Quake 2, but it's set to run at 1080p because that's, you know, that well, nearly every game on that computer runs at 1080p despite being from like 2006. I mean, they're all old games, if you know what I mean. So, like, it's not like, oh yeah, it runs Cyberpunk at 1080p. It's like. It's, it's like a. It's like the best old computer that you can get. And I spent ages getting the right parts for it so that it runs what I needed to run. Like, it was like my de facto old PC, like, until there was stuff that was too, too old for it to run. Which was really disappointing, because I had, like, a PC that runs loads of classic games 
in HD, which was just like, you know, that's what you want when you're trying to do recordings, because upscaling stuff is a real pain in the ass. And, you know, I don't like doing it if I don't have to. I forget, do laser grids kill me instantly in this? Fucking <sighs> bat thing. Nah. She sounds like she's stubbed her toe. She doesn't sound like she's been, like, killed. <laughs> she just sounds... Ah. She sounds like she's unsure about what's going on. <laughs> I do like all these updated panels, though. I like that I can see myself, sort of, in that one. Wow, these are great. This is great. Right, that's the card. Let me go back and open the other door. It's kind of amazing to me, this. Then, like, there's this version, obviously, and this version is by far, I think, I think it's the most impressive, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite. There is something really satisfying about the, uh... Open G uh, the Glide version, that's just, you know, can't be replicated anywhere else. For some reason, though, only, like, the... Oh. I'm pushed D. Should just push D. Oh, I've opened quad damage. Quad damage, baby. Quad damage. Come on. Open that door. Oh, it disables quad damage when you move into a new level. That's a bummer. Whoops. Who's shooting me? Sounds like the 2080 is really making a big deal out of this, so I imagine this is pushing it quite hard. worth I mean I'm I'm willing for it to make the risk <laughs> fucking dude hurry up and die you stand blocking my way should get the there we go that's better it's just so shiny and pretty it's just like oh such a nice version of the game now and I can't believe, like, this... I don't... I think this was free, wasn't it? But, like, as long as you had the base game, you could get this for free. I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I bought this ages ago. Because... From what... From my... I had an older graphics card that ran, um... It wasn't an RTX game. It was just, like... It wasn't an RTX card, even. It was, like, a Vega 64, and, like... I was not unsure whether it could do, you know, the ray tracing stuff that we're looking at here. And as it turns out, it could not. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it couldn't do it. And I was just very conf oh, shit. Very confounded. Because there's, I mean, it's really difficult sometimes to find online the specific feature set of a card. Because, like, someone's just like, oh, yeah, I did it. And then, like, you'll find online, like, officially that it it almost sort of supports and then you're like okay right well does it or doesn't it and the only way that you can really find out is by testing it yourself sometimes which is just I fucking don't like doing that I really hate the trial and error that comes with a lot of PC gaming and stuff where you sort of you buy a game and then you find out for some reason the game's really poorly optimized for your specific system and that's kind of it there's not much you can do about it oh this is the same I mean of course they didn't remake it I guess but like you know How's the temperature area. doing? Let me give it, give it a feel. Ooh, the glass is pretty warm. Glass is pretty warm, that's not good. And I've only been playing for like 14 minutes. Oh. What the hell is this thing? Is this, this is the shotgun? What, did they redesign it? They must have redesigned a lot of this stuff. What is this? Looks like a fire extinguisher. Looks like a fucking... Oh, man. Doesn't look very good. I mean, at least it doesn't look like I like it to look. Why well, have we got two different? Okay, whatever. Got two different things for the for the direction up. To be fair, I did set like before I decided to start playing. I decided to set all the settings to up. So like you know, 
<laughs> I am pushing the card a lot harder than it probably needs to. Just because I... It was just... I was like, well, what's the most impressive it could look? And I just decided to turn everything to on and everything to up. Besides, like, the resolution, which was already at 4K and it was running the game. And I was like, why is it stressing out so bad? It doesn't even look that good. Because, like, I've only got a 1080p monitor, so, like, forcing it to downscale an up image was just so pointless to me. I really don't like the super shotgun in this game very much. It just feels... I don't know. To be honest, the only game where I'm like, the super shotgun's really good is, like, Doom 2, and that's it. Oh, I should have them. One a minute. It's got a very clean look to it that you just don't see in the uh, original game. It's kind of weird. Because, like, Quake 2 is just like loads of... It's like the Gears of War color palette before, you know, Gears of War was anywhere even thought about. Door is open elsewhere. Oh, this way, yeah. Oh, his eyes glow. That's sick. He still looks like shit. <laughs> he doesn't look very good, but, you know, could be worse. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oops. What the hell? What's shooting me? You? You're not shooting me no more. Oh, this guy's in front of me as well. Look at, the, look at that, it's like glowing off of this. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just like graphics. And this isn't even like cutting edge anymore. I'm sure there's better stuff than this. But like it's just the fact that it's a game that I like and it's impressive. Oh shit. I love them, thank you. Where's that? Oh, he's shooting me from there. Come here, asshole. My health is not looking good. Worth it. Alright. You have found a secret. Actually, it found me, and now we're married. How do I... I've got to go up there and round. Oh, I missed the explosion. I accidentally pushed the button. Boom. I still think it's hilarious that now uh, a game from 1997 is pushing my computer really hard. <laughs> Although it's only pushed... I mean, it would probably be a lot easier if it was just, like, not... If the airflow was good. Because I've only put this thing together recently. Like, I had the card for a while and all the parts, but I just put it in a nicer case. But, like, the actual... I've only got one fan, and I'm supposed to have three. So, like, you know... It's not, not an incredibly intelligent decision to play a really extre extremely stressful game on, uh, on, on this. But, hey, you know what? Here we are, and uh, what, what can you do now, you know? Too little, too late. Should have thought of that earlier. I should probably stop in a minute, because, again... <laughs> We're really, uh, the te I mean, the, the case is hot to the touch, and that's not good. <laughs> What's your temp set? I have no fucking clue, but I am sure it's, I'm sure it's not good. Performance? Still on par, though. I mean, you know, for the, for the number of graphics we're experiencing here, upwards of 10, uh, the performance is still really, really good. Now you just gotta hope that the the uh, rendering process on the other computer is gonna be good enough to view this in a reasonable fashion. Oh, come on. Where's that guy? What the fuck? Shit, what the hell? Where do you guys come from? Ah, oh, I did not even see those guys. Were they, like, hanging behind the door there? Well, there we go. That's enough of that. I, I'm, I am feeling hot now, so, uh, yeah. Well, that was, uh, that was my TED Talk on Quake 2.